maliciously awesome. Not the typical malicious compliance posting but just occurred to me. I used to work at a WAGS restaurant. It was a Chicago area chain started by Walgreens. The eyed to start a Denny's-like restaurant chain grew out of the idea. Hey, our pharmacies used to have soda shops 40 years ago. So why not? Single quote dot. Anyway, put 15 16 year old kids in as line cooks and this is what you get. We had our regulars on the late shift. A few guys who were probably out drinking alone earlier in the evening. One time, while a regular was at the counter, where he could see us cooking, at least from the shoulders up, a waitress ordered an omelette for her dinner break. Being young goofs, instead of making her a fluffy, huge three-egg omelette, we wiped the eggs in a shake blender and used more oil than should be legally allowed to. Essentially flash fry them into glorious eggy pillows. We used something lick six. Cooked it in a nine inches pan instead of a six inches egg pan. Plated it and lifted that glorious monster in the window. So of course, when asked what he wanted, regular late night customer pointed to our gag omelette and said, one of those. He was always a polite, quiet, good customer. So malicious compliance, we made him a nine egg monster. Slathered in cheese with extra hash browns and half a dozen sausage and half a dozen strips of bacon. I think we had to plate it on a platter instead of a regular dinner plate. Still remember. Guy looked like he won the lottery. But I don't recall if I hung around long enough to see if he finished it. So yay. Only malicious to the corporation really. This was over 30 years ago now. But the $5 we charged for a regular omelette back then was still dirt cheap. And he got about a triple that night. BTW. If you're not familiar, it's because WAGS went out of business couple decades ago. Don't think it was because of me though. Thank you for the trip down memory lane. I, too, was a 16 yo line cook at WAGS. Mine was in a mall across from the movie theater. So we'd stay open until the late movie got out. I can't count how many times teenage me closed that place by myself and rode my bike home at 2 a.m. Down a dark, two-lane state highway. Your description of how we made the omelettes, though, was beautiful. We made them exactly the same way. Shake blender to get lots of air bubbles into the eggs and, like, six ounces of cooking oil in the pan. Those omelettes look magnificent, but probably had more oil on them than the hash browns did. Damn what a lucky ass dude. You surely made the day for him. Good to make someone happy. All those ingredients are cheap so NBD. R. Delicious compliance. You wasted about 75 cents of product nine eggs instead of three and sent away a happy customer while there can be an argument that that money wasn't yours to give away that was a good call and had i been your manager i would have okayed it for a regular i'm always up for a goof i used to go to the one on ogden avenue i always suspected they had something to do with walgreens because the w was the same but wasn't Sure until now, I don't really remember the food. Just the constant haze of cigarette smoke. Similar experience as a 15-year-old cook at a Mexican restaurant in California in the 90s. Dude comes to the drive through and orders a carne asada burrito, with everything on it. Be careful what you wish for. I had all condiments available since we had burgers too. Guacamole, ketchup mustard onions pickles lettuce probably some more sent this fat wet bulging burrito on its way the next night the guy walks in and asks if the guy who made his burrito last night is in the owner is there and looks at me sideways the guy says that was the best burrito i've ever had and i'll pay whatever for another one i had some explaining to do 
15 years ago I was a corporate monkey slaving away for a company that didn't care I existed because I was disposable labor. But I was a person pleaser and person figured out we didn't charge for lettuce and tomato so they would order a regular sandwich with extras. I knew from the menu lettuce, tomato, plus sauce cost more. So I changed there to that sandwich minus the sauce. Company made an extra 30 cents and I live with the reject of closing someone's work around food back. Again for a company that doesn't care you existed. I wish I'd taken more risks to benefit the customer than to nickel and dime them for our manager. Remember WAGS. G's showing my age. R. Delicious compliance. It's maliciously delicious. What's the MC? OMG WAGS. I remember going to that place in the 80s as a kid. The local one is now an IHOP. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epicaracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.